and it was just so sad that was like so mean that was like i think that's like the rudest experience i've ever experienced so far on twitch <laughs> Excuse me. What's good, y'all boobs, y'all tits, y'all breasticles? Whoa! I don't know if you guys have noticed, but like the past videos, my hair's not straight. Because I don't have a straightener. The straightener I would use is with my sister. And then my roommate, um, Seth, Smith, he has a straightener, but his door is locked. Anyways, I got um, some new stuff recently. And I figured I might as well show you guys in this video. Time for a little haul. Here it is. Let me show you guys. I'm actually very hyped for the stuff I got. First of all, I don't know where to start actually. No! <gasps> okay, I showed you guys these. These were featured in my last video. If you haven't seen it, link in description. But look at this. I got motherfucking okay, so Shaquif, my green haired friend, featured in my last video as well. We got I don't even know what it's been. Look! Okay, she got us made outfits, bro. <laughs> I haven't tried this on yet, but oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Here it is! Ooh! I can be like a little slutty maid <laughs> for Halloween this year, lol. Super cute made outfit. It came with freaking underwear, which I don't think I'm gonna use that. And also came with like this little lace thing, but we won't need these because she also got us mother freaking cut ears. <laughs> Dude. I forget. I think hers are black or just kidding. I totally forget what color. Oh, what is this? Also came with one of these little cuff things. Oh, wait, there's two. Oh, there's three. What? Oh my god, there's four! What? It came with these little things. I'll most likely be wearing this in a TikTok. Follow me on TikTok if you don't follow me already. I haven't tried this on yet, but I'm very excited to because I know damn well I would look so cute in a made outfit. But look! Cat ears! Dude, let's open these babies up. <gasps> Meow! Meow! Oh my god, they're like fuzzy gray ones. They got little bells and little bows. You all see that? I feel so meow right now. Hold the F up. Hold the F up. I'm a mother freaking cat, bro. I don't know. I don't know, but I feel so meow right now. Anyways, I love these. Shaquille got them for us. I think they were from Shein, by the way. If you wanted to know. Okay, other stuff from my haul. So Shaquif and I, the day of that mukbang video, prior to the mukbang, we actually went to Sally's and we got some stuff so I could bleach and dye her hair, which I did a video for as well, but I'm not sure if that will be like a legit video on my channel just because there's so much footage. I don't know. We'll have to see. Anyways, I'll show you guys what I got. So, oh crap. I got like one of those pink little hair brushes um i think it's in my washroom right now i'm a little lazy to get it right now so you're just gonna have to use your imagination okay and then i got some of this this is what is this color brilliance bright white enriched with hydrolyzed keratin for superior conditioning this is bleach i think cream lightener i'm not sure Shaquif kind of influenced me to get this. It says eight levels of lift and then also the hair people were very nice and they noticed that we didn't have any developers so I got this. 20 volume clearing developer. Woo! I got that for myself obviously because when my roots grow in I'm gonna need to get them bleached again and blah blah blah. You know what's gonna be very sad? When the time comes when I decide to dye my hair a natural color and when we're gonna have to say goodbye to the pink which is so sad to me like honestly at the beginning of the year was that the beginning of the year or maybe like sometime i don't really remember maybe this was sometime last year but i was kind of like oh my gosh you know what when i turn 20 i'll dye my hair brown or like i'll dye my hair natural hair color and i'll say goodbye to the pink but honestly it's kind of it's gonna be so sad i'm gonna miss my pink so much because this was like a fun time this is a fun time speaking of pink i did get myself some hair dye and i got two bottles of arctic fox hair dye i'm mm, hair dye smells so good bro they smell like grapes 
I have an Instagram mutual who lives somewhere in America and I, I remember a while back she had this really cute pink hair I really liked that particular shade so I asked her what she used and I got the same exact ones that she used and she said she also mixed it with conditioner to get it lighter so I got electric paradise and virgin pink if I do do my hair <laughs> If I do my if obviously when I do my hair, when I bleach it and stuff, honestly, I'm most likely going to have Shaquif bleach and dye my hair. So, obviously that will be a video if that does happen. When that does happen, actually. The thing is, when I dyed her hair, we like left, like the bottom half at the back of her hair was bleaching for like two hours. So, I'm a little scared for her to do mine because... I don't know. We don't know what we're doing here, okay? We, we're just going with the flow. But that is what I got. And it was so cool. That was like my first time ever going into Sally's. Because I always thought that you needed to be a member to go into Sally's. Like Costco? I don't know why I thought that way. But yeah, for some reason, I thought I wasn't allowed to go into Costco. So I was... Costco? No. Into Sally's. I never knew I was allowed to go into Sally's. So I was so hype. I was so hype about it. Anywho, that was my mini haul. Uh, pretty excited about it. The cat ears will be staying on for the rest of this video because I am liking the vibes. Anyways, you know what I should do? Also, you know what? While I'm here and I'm just chilling and I'm sitting, I have to let you guys know. Oh, meow. <laughs> While I'm sitting here, I must tell you guys that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. So, if you don't know, Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of inspiring different classes. It's a very great platform, especially if you're looking to learn some new skills, discover, or even deepen existing passions. All that good stuff. There are so many different class topics on Skillshare that I just highly recommend you check out yourself because there's too many. But just to name a few, there are categories like animation, graphic design, marketing, you know, all, there, there's just too much. There's too much for me to list in this video, so go ahead and check it out yourself. There's a lot on there. You can learn about stocks, you can learn about plants, you could learn how to play the guitar. Hey, if you're an artist and you've noticed that you've been slacking off a lot recently, I got the class for you. You guys should check out Brooke Glasser's class called Easy Productivity Tips for Artists. And with their class, you can learn how to build habits that stick with you, how to manage your time upon so much more. Check it out. Check it out if you want to. Because Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, there are never any ads. And with an annual subscription, it is less than $10 a month. But the first 1,000 people to click the link in my description will get a free trial of premium membership. So while that offer is here, you might as well click the link in the description and check Skillshare out. Let me know in the comments if you do decide to use Skillshare or check it out, you know. It's a free trial, a free trial of premium membership. Might as well take it. There you go. Shout out to Skillshare. Woo! This is so fun. This is so much fun. Wearing cat ears. And just to hear the little jingles. This is amazing. Also, um, for those of you guys who follow me on Twitch and who watch my streams, and especially for those who have subscribed, shout out to y'all, first of all. But I'm actually talking with an artist right now about emotes, and I'm so excited. Should I show you guys? Dude, I'm so excited for my emotes. They're gonna be, it's gonna be so cute. Oh, here it is. <gasps> Wait. Never mind, you guys. I actually don't want to show you guys the emotes because it's gonna ruin the surprise. So I'm gonna just be like, no, you're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to wait and see the emotes. But I'm so, so excited because they're looking super cute right now. They're not finished yet, but they should be finished pretty soon because this artist is really fast. By the time you're watching this, I should have my emotes. If you are a subscriber on Twitch, let me know what you think of the emotes. <laughs> I'm so excited. Meow. Should I give you guys... Oh my gosh, my Karobi pants, yes. I wear these like all the time, okay? You know what I've been enjoying a lot lately? Like this is what I'll do. I will get super suited, whether that be edibles or like blazing, using my bong, whatever. Actually, lately it's specifically been edibles. So what I'll do is I'll take a bunch of edibles and get super, super suited and just sit in front of my PC and watch Attack on Titan. Oh, um, this happened recently. Like that, this is what I've been doing recently, but several nights ago, well, several nights ago from today from me filming it's march the third right now oh oh my gosh what's going on so a couple nights ago 
I got super zooted and I was watching Attack on Titan, but then I kept getting higher and higher because, you know, with edibles, edibles will surprise you. So I kept getting higher and higher and I was like, okay, no, I'm at the point where I can't really focus on Attack on Titan right now. So let me switch the animes up. So I, I started watching, so I continued watching. Oh, speaking of, I have to rewatch the last Attack on Titan episode I watched because I literally was like, I could... I couldn't really absorb what was happening. Yeah, like when I was watching it, when I was zooted, I literally told myself, I was like, oh no, I'm gonna have to rewatch this episode. So I switched it and I watched um, Asobi Asobase, which is so funny. It's such a funny anime. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's about three high school girls, their best friends, and they're just, I don't know, I can't, I don't really know how to explain it because a bunch of random stuff happens and it's, it's just it's a it's a funny time if you want to laugh asobi asobase and then oh my god and then i was also watching fruits basket and today i just finished the first season and fruits basket is probably one of my comfort animes like it's so cute but dude attack on titan i'm so excited i love attack on titan attack on titan hands down my most favorite anime like i obviously i do be having a list of favorite animes but no attack on titan number one favorite easy easy decision i love it so much like i seriously you know what sucked though this one time i was doing like a super late night stream and i wasn't streaming with my camera on because it was super late at night it was very impulsive these guys i think there was like two or three guys who randomly joined and they started spoiling attack on titan for me i have one mod right now which is my friend who he was sleeping at the time um where he was like i think he was busy streaming or doing something i don't know but he wasn't there i did have some nice people in the chat trying to tell me like no jalabi don't look don't look and it was just so sad that was like so mean that was like i think that's like the rudest experience i've ever experienced so far on twitch like why would you do that are you that bored with your life that you want to spoil something for someone else it's ridiculous i i was upset because i was like hey guys i'm not gonna look at the chat anymore until they, until they leave and that was also kind of sucky because i like looking at the chat and i like talking and responding to every single chat so <laughs> it was a bit of a painful experience but it's fine whatever that was so mean anyways i don't yeah that was like my worst experience so far on twitch i haven't experienced anything else horribly bad thankfully but that was so mean i thought that was like so cruel i hated that i hated that a lot but it's whatever it's whatever i still love attack on titan let me see what i'm on the last episode i watched ooh, ep uh, season three episode 59 <laughs> It's called The Other Side of the Wall. I have to finish, or no, I have to rewatch this episode though because when I was watching this, I was so zooted and I literally could not understand anything that was going on. So, um, I mean, that that's the plan. I will go ahead and finish that. I'm so hyped though. Is it over yet? I don't think it is, right? Right, guys? I, I personally do not know, but so exciting, so exciting. You know what's sad though? When I got zooted, I think this was the same. I think this was the night when I was watching like Attack on Titan and then I switched to like Fruits Basket and Asobi Asobase. But I literally ate all of my munchies, which was a fun time in the moment. But now I'm like, crap, now I have no munchies. I had my leftovers of like my little tub of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. It was the chocolate chip cookie dough with like fudge bits in it, but it was the non-dairy one for some reason, I don't know. Um, and then I had two bags of my baked snap pea chips, but it was a cheddar version. Let me know if you know what I'm talking about. My snap peas, they're like little chips, but they're like, ugh. Like snap peas, mm, they're so good. Like I know my sister hates them, but oh, you know who introduced me to those snap peas? Like baked snap pea chips. Oh, they were, oh, they're so good. Like they have like this weird, unique texture. I don't know, I don't know. It was really good though. And the first time I ate those, was because oh, the first time I ever ate those was in elementary, probably like third grade, and my crush at the time. <laughs> I remember he gave me some and I literally kept his garbage, which, yeah, I, I'm not joking. I feel like I might still have it, but I don't wanna look for it because that's kinda gross. Anyways, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go stream, so 
Um, I want to thank you guys for watching this video, especially if you stay to the end. If you see this, uh, excuse me, comment, what a sexy burp. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please thumb me hard. Please and thanks. Would very much appreciate it. Uh, talk to me in the comments. I like reading the comments. They're fun to read. And please subscribe. Subscribe to become a gel boob. And turn on post notifications if you want. If you don't want to, it's out school too. I don't really care. But I'm going to go. Thank you, Jala Boobs, again for sticking around. Comment down below. Video requests. That's it, folks. Bye, Jala Boobs. See you next Tuesday. See you in the next video. See you next time.